guys, it's Mel here from, well, we used to be Pranks for Kids TV. Now we are going to be Mom's Seizure Journey. Last Monday, I started having seizures out of nowhere. No idea how it started or why. I was taken to the hospital in an ambulance and they did some testing and it showed that I had some brain lesions. Now, one of the brain lesions is called a cavernous lesion and it's almost like a hemorrhage, but it's not a dangerous type of hemorrhage. It is scary, but that is definitely not causing the seizures. There is also another lesion that is on the base of my um, spinal cord where it attaches to your brain and that lesion they wanted to biopsy and see if it was a tumor um, but because of the area it's just a little too dangerous to do a biopsy so here we are still in the hospital trying to figure out what's going on and get my medications under control I was able to leave the hospital uh, Friday and then I came back Saturday um, again, by ambulance, I had a major seizure, and so now we're just trying to figure out some medicine controls, how to keep me from having these seizures, because when I take the medicine, I still have them, so back in the hospital again, being observed, and now I'm starting a new journey in life, hopefully get some answers, and we can figure out what this lesion is, the doctors aren't sure had a few neurologists um, for, that have looked at it and they don't know what it is. They don't know if it's cancer, if it's a tumor, it's just a six millimeter lesion, lesion that they're not sure. Um, so just hoping and praying everything's going to be fine. These seizures stop. I haven't had a seizure today. pain under control and I just wanted to share my journey because I know a lot of people go through this and it's really hard to talk about. It's really hard to um, be out and about knowing, thinking you can have a seizure at any time. Luckily I can feel my seizures coming on. You can feel the aura, what it's called, and um, I'm able to be coherent during my seizures. I know where I am, I know my name, um, they do kind of get violent, but I am still um, able to talk. My speech gets really bad and it gets bad for a while afterwards, but... Someone asked me what I sounded like after I had my seizure because I lost my speech. Um, I'm just taking you along on my new journey and sharing what's going on. I've been around for a while. Um, probably won't be doing so much pranks anymore because this mom has got to take it easy and keep seizure free. So, thank you for watching and I hope you stick around for this journey. Hello, I'm back home now. I finally figured out what my seizures were and they're called pseudo seizures which is from an overabundance of stress. So a very stressful life can cause you to have seizures. I'm gonna try and find like a specialized specialist to see if we can figure some things out. Um, so basically, overabundance of stress causing seizures, which is just insane to me. So I just started recording my journey because I think 
mental health is very important, especially in my case, because um, it's not so much depression. It was, I had so much stress in my life for so long, and I've told doctors and I have said it for so long that something is going to happen from this stress. I did see counselor. Um, I denied medications because I wanted to try and do this on my own without so many medications. But now I'm at the point where it's not going to happen. <laughs> so they want me to see a psychologist and um, hopefully we can eliminate these seizures or lessen them. But I started wanting to videotape this because I wanted to bring uh, mental health awareness to people because it can truly make you sick if you don't get help. And if you need help, get help. Don't be ashamed to talk to someone or want to talk to someone, whether it be a counselor, anybody. Get help and talk to somebody because it will destroy you. And believe me, this is not fun. It's changed my life around within a week. I can't drive anymore right now. Um, I'm so weak I can barely get out of bed, spending most of my time in bed. And I just want to, yeah, it's not fun, homo. But <laughs> anyways, I just wanted to share this journey because I think it's so important for people to get help. And I know people are ashamed of it and don't be ashamed of it because I'm proof that <laughs> it can hurt you. So thank you for listening and following my journey and hopefully I can help someone out by spreading the message. Hi MJ. Are you happy I'm home? This little one has not left my side since I got home. She knew. She knows something is wrong. Jessie said she was sitting by the window waiting every day, just staring, looking out the window, waiting for me. All my abundance of medications. She missed me. She was so scared. I think it's pretty crazy that an animal can sense when something's wrong. Yes, I am watching I Love Lucy, trying to really keep myself calm and not get any kind of stress. I need to relax. Hi, oh, MJ. Another cuddle day. Another cuddle day. She's like my therapy dog. And she can sense when I'm going to have a seizure. She starts crying and getting all crazy. It's kind of amazing that she can sense that.